Is your island vacation going bump in the night? Well, just be thankful knowing that there's a private eye on the case, and his name is Maui Mallard, also known as the Cold Shadow. Cold Shadow? This, this, I don't know nothing about this. This, wait a minute, what kind of, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is on PC? Yep, I'm playing the PC version of Cold Shadow, that literally one of the very first games ever to be released under Disney Interactive Studios. Mm. Huh. And I guess it came to Steam? Uh, yeah, it came to Steam, I want to say maybe a couple of years ago, alongside other oldies like the Hercules game we covered not that long ago. So, um, yeah, here's our story involving a, an idol that has been stolen in the dead of night. Oh, oh boy. It's last reported sighting... The Mojo, Mojo Mansion. Dun, dun, dun. That's Donald Duck. That is absolutely Donald Duck. <laughs> Donald Duck with the pistol? The soccer moms are going to be furious. So is that why they uh, changed his name? Something like that. So I guess the basic, the basic gist behind Maui Mallard and Cold Shadow, or for those that live in the UK or in Japan, Donald and Maui Mallard. <laughs> uh, Donald is taking on the guise of a, of a private investigator named Maui Mallard, and, well, he's on the case of, regarding this, uh, this item that has mysteriously gone, you know, up and vanished. And, well... Not only is not only is he this hip PI with a with a Hawaiian shirt and a bug pistol, he also at times he'll also take the guise of a ninja. So I'm not gonna lie, like just from what I'm seeing right now, I'm getting a mix of both Earthworm Jim yes. and some animations, some also a bit of like bugs and double trouble. I can de I, I'm all, I'm definitely seeing the Earthworm Jim vibes from this. But uh, it looks pretty cool with the bugs shooting and the gun and, uh, oh gosh, the wind out here is strong. Oh, yeah. The, the winds are not exactly friendly towards Donald. Yeah. Or, excuse Ooh. me, Maui. Maui. Those of us that live in the States wouldn't appreciate knowing that this is made oh, under boy. the same moniker of that one duck, even though it's so clearly him. It looks absolutely like it, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, even that, sounds like him, too. But that all being aside, um, what were your oh, thoughts you with this game? I guess even when it first came out, James... So the game came out in 96, and I mean, clearly I was too young to actually know anything about this project way back when, but I mean, learning about it later on during like my emulator phase and all that, it was, it was interesting to say the least, because I mean, I'm not going to outright say that it's not inappropriate for the for <laughs> Disney's entourage of cartoon characters to, un to literally play like random characters and of themselves. I mean, Mickey sort of makes an entire career out of it, and right. I mean... Donald follows suit, obviously. I want to say, like, that platform you were just on that had, like, those um, spade-shaped fans, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be spinning, because I know they do in the Super Nintendo version. Interesting. It should be mentioned real quick that the PC version of the game is actually taking its cues from the original Sega Genesis version that was only in the UK. Uh. And, it's, and as such, uh, there's some level design that's been altered, some enemies that were, were replaced between the two, and, I mean... A uh, chicken. Don't ask why I added, uh, added random rubber chicken. But, um, yeah, it's like, if you've ever played the Super Nintendo game, like, when that was around, like, don't expect the exact same game with the PC version. And, I mean, one other thing I will say regarding the PC version I thought was interesting, uh, the composer for the game, uh, Future Me, if you would be so kind to list his name there, he's also, the later on in his career, he would make compose the soundtrack for Up. Oh, really? like, like the, the movie. movie. Nice. Yes, the movie. Wow. Actually, you know what? Now that you say that, I'm going to look up the name myself. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, how do you swap between different... Uh, ow! Jeez! How, how do you swap between different ammo type? Okay, so, um... There, there's a certain button that you can press, and that you can also, you know, configure in the menu screen that lets you switch swap between certain bug ammo types. Like there's the there's the um like you start like when whenever you're playing as Maui for the most part, uh, you start off with a regular bug shot that's not doesn't have a lot of range, but gets the job done more often than not. He can also grab uh, lightning lightning bugs that have that can go further and do more damage. A fire fire bug that print, that auto aims at every anything, and a right maze. What I was may as well call the bug bomb, the bomb bug, which basically you drop it like a bomb. And okay. what's cool is kind of like in Gunstar Heroes, you can combine combine these um, ammo types to yield some interesting results. 
And oh, if you combine awesome. all three of them, you literally get a screen nuke. Oh, okay. okay. So this is, I could just say right off the bat, um, this composer, uh, Michael, uh, Michael Gilchino, um, first off, he also composed a couple of other Disney games, particularly additional compositions for Mickey Mania. Oh. But as far as films go, he did, let's see, in order, The Incredibles, The hmm. Muppets, Wizard of Oz, a handful of Mission Impossible films, Ratatouille, Up, like you mentioned, um, let me see, a couple of MCU films, actually, like he did Doctor huh. Strange and Far From Home. Holy crap. And Homecoming. Huh. Wow, this guy gets around. And I mean, if, if, if this first track of the game is anything to go by, like, he's definitely earned his kudos. Like, honestly, I, like, when the, when the song first starts, I immediately get Haunted Mansion vibes. Well, yeah, because the mojo, yeah. I also dig this, uh... Okay, finally made it to the top. I was gonna say, once again, because it was early, um... Uh-oh. Because it was... I did. Because it was early Disney Interactive when they wanted to go full animation, the game looks really smooth. Mm -hmm. It looks smooth. I wish it played as smoothly as it did, though. Aww. Is it as bad as Hercules? Not quite as bad, but it's still very... As I would put it, Herky Jerk. I ninja. Oh, Aww. Aww, they were playing this. We didn't even turn into a ninja once. We will soon. There's a reason for that, but beforehand, since we managed to get enough treasures in that level, we get to partake in a bonus game. Babalua baby. Babalua baby. Uh -oh. So basically, with all those items we just collected, take them all to the end and you shall receive them. And um... <laughs> That's sun. I definitely don't remember this in the Genesis version. Or you mean the, the Super Nintendo the, version? The Super Nintendo version. Oh, Super Nintendo, my bad. Yeah, the Super Nintendo version is definitely different. Well, is there a Genesis version? What oh, the? Daisy! Oh that was a buff Daisy. Daisy got ripped! And, oh gosh. That sun is so... Oh, 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 oh you dropped our, the thing. Our loot. <laughs> oh, no bonus. No bonus. Dang it. That looked a little tricky. Yeah. Are giant metal spiders? Yeah, what could have done it? Sign of spirits. What oh the? boy. This thing could be deeper than anyone guessed. <gasps> Might be time for a change of costume. Okay. The ninja also, don't ask me why there's a ninja training ground somewhere in somewhere in the uh, in the middle of a deserted island. Whoa! Whoa. So with the power of a shaman spirit, he stole well, our th stuff. Oh yeah, crap! He stole all our best tricks with the with the ninja. But I mean, since we did collect all those yin yang, yang icons, we can at the very least. Do something about that, but unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, Maui is unfortunately gonna have to duck out for now and change transform into Cold Shadow. Whoa! So how does he control now? So Cold Shadow is definitely the slightly more acrobatic of the two, and I guess, for lack of a better word, the more upfront and personal sort of character because he primarily fights with a bow staff, which also you can be used as like a makeshift grappling hook. Right. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but he also has certain other powers that will be helpful to, towards uh, Donald here. Like, um, he can actually, in enclosed, enclosed walls, he can actually in, do the whole Emperor's New Groove thing with just his bow staff. Oh, cool. Ooh, nice. I, sh I should ask, because I am noticing that, yeah, it's it's almost like supersonic where this yin, these yin-yang points are steadily counting down the longer you are in cold shadow form. Um, right. And the yin yang, and collect, but fortunately, collecting even a single yin yang puts you back up to 999. So, really, putting four of them right back to back is kind of pointless. But I should ask, um, oh, jeez, stop it. It's a training thing. I should ask, uh, is it possible then to soft lock yourself and Careful. not have and not have cold shadow available because you used up all because you just futzed around and waited for oh. Well, it sh I, I guess if that means anything, if there are times where you do need to rely on Cold Shadow's powers, uh, certain yin yang icons will respawn. So you're at least giving that much uh, leeway. Oh boy. Okay, that is helpful. Also, something I noticed, like if you look closely, like also similar to Earthworm Jim, uh, Donald's health is in the form of a percentage. Yeah. Yep, uh -huh. and he can refill his health by collecting the uh, glasses of Fruit Punch. <laughs> or, excuse me, Tropical Punch, what am I saying? No worries, no worries. Tropical vacation juice. Ah! Oops. Oh, jeez! Ah. Well, that was sudden. Yep, he went straight down to hell. But, um, this is something I do appreciate, where, like, if you do die in the ninja training grounds, they do give you some tips on how to play as the ninja. Okay. Oh, and I see these ghostly voodoo duck heads are your checkpoints. Yes, they are. But, um, yeah, with that said, um... I will say it's so... The, the history behind this game is somewhat interesting in the fact that, well... 
it's definitely one of the darker sort of um, things that Donald's been associated with. Right. Like, not only are we dealing with, you know, voodoo ma magic bullshit and, you know, dark ninjas within the dark in, in dark clouds and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and later on, we also deal with um, little, little um, ducklings that may as well be... I don't know. I, if you look at them a certain way, they kind of look like they could be very, very well be cannibals. Jeez. Uh, I suppose. Come on. Oh. I mean, I knew. I, like, they definitely allude, they allude to all sorts of stuff and stuff like that. And bum, I mean, bum, 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 bum. I guess <sighs> there were plans to actually continue this whole subseries of Donald onward. Unfortunately, Disney of America made the very crucial mistake of you know getting rid of Donald's name in any of the advertising. Oops. Well, because so now, nope, so now, yeah, I, when I saw this, I'll admit, when I saw this, I was like, who the heck is Maui Mallard? I don't know anything about this character. Yeah. And I'm guessing, like, because of that, the game didn't really sell particularly well. Yeah, it didn't really sell all that well. Oh, all, careful. Unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to see that it's given, been given some sort of uh, life again, thanks to Steam and uh, GOG. But otherwise, yeah, that's really all that can be said about the about the about this um, enigmatic persona of Donald's. I guess I can say I'm gonna I'm gonna look up right now like old Disney interactive games because I there are some like if they're if they're porting these ones there are some that I would really love to see uh, come to Steam and GOG. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'd say to stick with like air attacks. That seems to be the quicker, more reliable way of dealing with those. Yeah. Yeah. So though that being said, though, um, you can occasionally find like these bigger red yin yang icons that'll actually increase uh, uh, Don Donald's attack uh, variety. Like he can actually do like a two hit combo than a three hit combo, and I think he just lets them out a lot faster when doing so. Okay. Mm. The the platforming seems pretty responsive, which is nice. It's responsive enough, but again, like the controls do feel a little stiff. Fair. Okay, so looking at it here, oh jeez. So looking at it here, uh, some games I would love to see come to like PC or you know GOG or something. Uh, one of them would be 101 Dalmatians Escape from Deville Manor. Hmm. It was, it was almost like a point-and-click adventure game, but I think they did enough with it to make it like, or I should say, it felt it it, it was very close to almost feeling like one of their you know their interactive storybook ones, but they did a lot more with it and. and Oops. Uh oh wow, it's the death. Back down you go. I might be wrong, didn't they also show like snippets of that game in the uh, Glenn Close live action adaptation? Uh an adaptation of it, but not quite. Like I there remember was... like there was a scene in that live action movie where I think there was a game being played that was based oh, yeah, no. on Oh yeah, oh yeah, because with him because with him in the live action movie he wasn't a composer or musician, he was a game designer. No, I meant like never mind. Or something like that, sorry. No, no, but I was saying, I remember, I, I, I totally get what you're saying, that it was the live-action, like, sequence or whatever. Or, or an anime sequence on the TV and kids were playtesting, I remember it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was what they, what they released, like, released to coincide with the uh, release of the film. Right. So let's see what else we had here. Um, I mean, they kind of did the same thing for 102 Dalmatians uh, when that came out. Uh, for better or for worse, there was Disney's Aladdin and Nasira's Revenge. Oh, yeah, that with Jafar's sister. Yes. Yeah. Original of egg character. Do yeah. not steal. We was... Also, th Whoa. this is sort of an interesting little ability that the ninja has. Well, also, why the hell did I not pick up that extra life? Oh, we have to run away before that thing catches you, otherwise it'll yeah, warp it's you an back. Insta -kill, but apparently, it's oh. some random diva that tells us to turn back. Yeah, Fuck Great you. Warrior must do it, not you. It's... You'll just ruin everything, like always. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm sorry, what? Let's see, what else? Oh, boss time. Um, but yeah, like, um, just, I don't know. It's one of those, this is just one of those really odd game sort of ideas that you kind of wish did get a little more successful. Because, I mean, between this and Quack Pack, I definitely would have taken this. Yeah. Well, Quack Pack apparently just had more of, like, I, I think, like, just that whole, like, Illusion series just definitely left more of an impact with people, which is why I guess people more fondly remember Quack Pack. Yeah, yeah, looks like wait, we gotta get used to all these new types of ninjas. I'm talking about the TV show, right? Oh, I thought oh, you right. were... Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oop. 
Rocky. No, again, I yeah, would have loved to know, watch that, short, that, that short-lived cartoon with Do with Donald Donald and the um the aged-up nephews. Oh, you said oh you said Quack Pack. I thought you said Quack Shot. No, no, no. He said Quack Pack. To be fair, I would have loved to. I, dude, speaking of which, I, you know, you say that I'm still upset that whole pitch from um the uh the Monster Boy designers never got a, got approved by Disney. It looked cool. I would have bought it in a heartbeat. Yeah, it would have been neat. Let's see what other Disney Interactive games I'd love to see come ported to other stuff. Um, but yeah, no, like, uh, I do recall, like, yeah, like, Quack Pack, I think, came out the exact same year that um, Maui Mallard did, so it's like, between the two, it's like, I would mm -hmm. gladly have taken this. Right. Yeah. Or uh, I, would have, I would appreciate this being a little more successful. I guess at the end of the day, neither, neither of them were that successful, so they both mm -hmm. sort of lost, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Like, there was, again, there was a sequel plan for this game and everything, and it's like, I don't know, I would have maybe tightened up the controls a bit. I would have been down for it. It would have been neat. If it was at all possible to port Epic Mickey to the PC using the mouse as like, you know, it would, it would, it would have WASD but use your mouse to like aim the uh, cursor around and stuff or give it sort of like the same controls as the second game had with the analog sticks. I could see, I would love to see that. Or, <gasps> Cannibals! Oh uh, yeah, before we do end this, end, end this look head off, I do try to go as far as I can into the Mud Drake level, where we are in introduced to the the monstros mon mon <laughs> monstrosities that are the cannib cannibalistic nephews. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't say... I mean, they kind of look like they have they have similar proportions to the nephews, but... Anyway. Oh, no. oh, boy. Ow. Move. Just, yeah, the, the Mud Drakes are not friendly at, in the slightest. They don't look at... Uh-oh. Shoot, Shoot it. Apparently their hitbox is wider than, than they look. Thank goodness, because yeah. if they're small... Let's see what... Okay, let's see what this Jacket did. Um, oh, boy. I know there's another one. Oh, there's this old game that I played that I've seen a lot of people, like, suggest to GOG, and especially for getting these more... Ouch. Oh, boy. Especially for getting the slightly more obscure games like Maui Mallard back. I would love to see... Ow. I would love to see um, Nightmare Ned. I forgot that was a thing, actually. Yeah, yeah. it was this cool, like, atmosphere point and click adventure game, and that was for a TV show that didn't do too hot. Why would I suggest that you bring back? Like, I know I mentioned I would well, be very. That. Oh, boy. Oh, that was our last life? Yeah. So. Aww. So, yeah, from here we could continue or not, and the game doesn't tell you this, but you only have three continues to your name. Of oh, course. crap. I wonder if there are any cheat Whoa. codes. Oh, The one that honored his memory. And then... Leaves. I wonder if there are any cheat codes to help this out a little bit. Um, yeah, like I said before, um, if you manage to actually earn enough, um, if you actually do manage to earn enough, um, treasure within a level, you do earn that level, the password to the next level. Oh. And, I mean, I did do that for the first level, thankfully, but everywhere else, not so much. But, I mean, given the era we live in now, you can easily just look that shit up online. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just into okay, I see how it goes. Yeah, fair enough. But, yeah, that's it for our look at on Maui Mallard and Cold Shadow. Um, I mean, I'll admit, I could I feel like we could have done this, done this whole look at a little better, but at the same time, we kind of decided to just do this on a whim, so... If you, guys are, if you guys are curious enough to try it for yourselves, again, it's available on Steam and GOG.com, and it is an old game, so don't be surprised if there might be some things that don't quite quite work as well as they should. Yeah, it's it's all it's all work of, it's all a rough kind of dated time period, and I do st I do hope that they like don't stop there and try to you know look into other stuff. Yeah, you know, like nice. give us maybe a Mickey Meet Me a port or something. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing I was. That's what I was about to say before we got the game over. Like looking into like other Disney interactive stuff. I know we brought it up during the Herc Jerk video, but I still would love if they did like a Rayman Redemptionized version of Mickey Mania. Yeah, Agreed. very much so. But um, yeah. Uh, Till next time, guys. See ya. One of these days, I'm gonna get my Ninja Gaiden spin off approved. Hey, <laughs>